Hello, my name is Dr. Yaya Sisoko, and I'm going to be the instructor for ECAN 101 Principles of Microeconomics. So today we are going to talk about Chapter 1, 10 Principles of Economics. We begin the lecture with the definition of economy. What is economy? Economy is one who, who manages a household. A household, for instance, is someone who can cook, do laundry, or go to work. Household face many decisions. They have to allocate scarce resources. Resources are the factor of production. There are four types of resources, land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship resources are used to produce it good and services one example of good is food or car one example of services is education or health care society faces many decisions they have to allocate resources and output for instance, society have to decide, you know, what type of resources to use to produce it, civilian gold or military gold. Resources are scarce. So what is scarcity? Scarcity can be defined as the limited nature of society resources. The concept of scarcity can be applied to time and money. We don't have enough time and we don't have enough money in society. We have only 24 hours a day. We must decide what to do you know, for those 24 hours. Eat, sleep, watch TV, exercise, go to work, for instance. As a result, society has limited resources and therefore cannot produce all goods and services people wish to have. Now let's talk about economy. What is economy? Economics can be defined as how society manages its scarce resources. Economy can also be defined as people make decisions. As an economist, what do we do? Economist studies how people make decisions. Decision about work. When you work, you make money. That money is called income or wages or salary. You can use that money to buy goods and services, to buy a house, to buy a car. You can save that money, put in the bank, you know, to earn interest. You can also use that money to invest, to start a business, to open your own business, and to be owner of, of a company. Economists also study how people interact with one another. People can interact with one another in a market. Market consists of a group of buyers and a group of sellers who are willing to trade. Economists also you know, analyze forces and trends that affect the economy as a whole. For instance, growth in average income is known as economic growth. Economic growth. To measure average income, you compute the value of all goods and services and you divide by the population. Economists also study fraction of the population that cannot find work. The fraction of the population that cannot find work is known as unemployment. If you are not working, if uh, you will consider as unemployed. Economists also, you know, study the rate at which prices are rising. This is known as inflation. When prices are increasing, we call that inflation. 
when prices are going down, we call that deflation. The 10 principles of economics can be divided into three categories. Category one is about how people make decisions. Decision about the allocation of uh, scarce resources. The second category is about how people interact. The interaction people will take place in the market. The third category is about how the economy as a whole works. The economy as a whole deal with, uh, for instance, economic growth, unemployment, and inflation. 